Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli out here with a brand new lure from Berkeley Power Bait called the Switch. Now, this thing is a special bait. Um, you're wondering about the name? Switch, what does that mean? This is a bait that we're gonna be able to change the action, change the movement of the bait on a single cast. All right, now why is that important? Uh, it's really important because every fish has a different mood. You know, whether you like it or not, this thing right here, take a look guys, this thing, is changing the way we fish. And when you see those fish out there, those fish are gonna to respond to a lure, but having the ability to change the way it moves on that single cast is really key to this bait. Um, comes in a lot of sizes, but for sure, my two favorite sizes are the quarter ounce and the three eighths ounce. But the way this bait is built is really the key. This one's sort of translucent, so you're gonna be able to see it. But if you look at it, it's an integrated or molded lead head inside the Berkeley Power Bait. And if you look at that lead head, it's not just a round ball, it's a very specialized shape. It's elongated, it's flat on the bottom, it has kind of a pointy cup front. And if you look at the line tie, it's really far pulled back on the bait. So that head design, that line tie position, and look at the hook very long shanked hook to bring the hook back in the bait really far near the tail all those things are really going to help with the ability to change the action on a single cast um even the tail if you look at the tail you know most of these baits you call them shad style baits have an action tail a curl tail a tab tail but this one's got a flat little planing tail and even that thing has a specialized movement that's different so um the ability to change on the cast. So, you know, what I'm doing with this bait, especially with forward facing sonar is, I'm finding those fish, I'm finding those groups or single fish that are out there, and I'm, I'm casting to those fish. Because of that really large lead head, and a lot of these baits also have mylar in them, they have a big return. So as I'm working this bait, I'm able to see exactly what it's doing on forward-facing sonar. It's showing up. It's got a big mark on it. So it's letting me read the fish and see what the bait is doing. But I basically throw it out there and I use one of five retrieves and try to make that fish bite. Remember, every fish is a little different. So I'm gonna go through. This is my five favorite retrieves with the Berkeley Power Bait Switch. First one I'll start with is one of the most easy, simple ways. And it's when fish are, are lethargic, especially when fish are suspended, I'm actually just moping the bait. Um, I'm demiki rigging the bait or dead sticking the bait. And when I'm doing that, I'm leaving it in place. But that line tie being that far back, being that horizontal back, is, is gonna let that bait stand perfectly straight. And a lot of times when I see them on the graph, I'm trying to make them rise up. So I'm, I'm literally not imparting any action other than lifting it and letting it fall. So a very almost neutral retrieve, great for suspended fish is moping. So that's the first way I can retrieve it. If those fish aren't responding, I can drop that fish, drop that bait down to the fish. And when it hits the bottom, my second technique, and this is a lot like um, a more traditional jigging technique, it's called light jigging. So now I'm gonna change the action of the bait and I'm just gonna light jig it. And that's kind of gonna make that bait just bounce up and down. Remember that line tie position. So the nose is lifting and then it's bouncing back out. So it's almost like teetering with the light jig. The whole time I'm watching those fish on how they respond. So they don't like moping, they don't like light jigging. I go to the next one, which is traditional jigging. And if you're an ice fisherman or if you've ever seen guys that ice fish or if you used an ice jig, the thing about traditional jigging is I'm just lifting and letting it fall on a slack line. Lifting it, letting it fall on a slack line. When I do that, because of that head design, remember that flat spot I told you about? Every time this bait falls, it falls a different way. So just like an ice jig. So regular jigging, I jig it, let it fall on a slack line. It falls to the left, it falls to the right, it darts up, it falls different every time. And sometimes that's the key to make them react. All right, the next one is one that works great for fish that really need a reaction strike. So again, remember, 
A lot of times I'm doing these different retrieves on the same cast. So the next one, I'll do moping, I'll do light jigging, I'll do traditional jigging, and now I'm going to stroking. I'm going to stroking the switch. And on this one, it's, it's a hard jig where I'm really ripping that bait up. So I'm really ripping it up, but letting it fall on a slack line. And if you're watching on forward facing, it gains tremendous height and then rapidly spirals down. Again, I just keep getting back to the head design, guys. But one of the keys to that head and that line tie position is instead of just falling straight, the switch spirals down like a dying bait fish, right? And that's a key, key motion. So the stroking is a great one. And then last but not least, and this is number five, and this is a subtle one is a retrieve that's just a steady, slow retrieve back. Uh, some people call it uh, winding, some people call it uh, uh, mid-depth strolling, but basically all I'm gonna do is let that switch get to the level of the fish, and I'm gonna just reel it right past them or right through the fish. And when we do that, getting back to this tail, unlike a traditional swim bait, that's got that flat planing tail, this thing's just gonna subtly go left and right. It's another trigger movement for those fish. So the beauty of this bait really is in the design and the ability to fish it five or six different ways on one cast. All right, now this bait comes in a lot of sizes, but my two favorite sizes, quarter and three eighths, it's 100% a spinning rod finesse application. Um, I'm going to use it on a very typical spinning rod that you use for, say, a uh, finesse swim bait or a drop shot or a tube, except I'm going to use a little longer rod. I like a 7.2 to 7.6 medium action spinning rod, but my favorite for sure is a 7.4 medium. It's a great action, a uh, little bit longer rod, lets me moat better, lets me make longer casts. I'm going to fish it with a reel that has a high speed gear ratio. And you know, really the reason for that is not the action of the bait, but it's if I'm mid cast and I'm scanning around and I see a big one or I see a group of fish, a high speed reel lets me burn it back in and then I'm able to cast those individual fish. So high speed reel, man, I'm in love with this thing. That's that Revo Rocket by Abu Garcia. It's a great reel. And then last but not least guys, the line. and. Because a lot of this fishing that I'm doing is deeper range, let's call it 10 to 20 to 30, even out in 40 and 50 feet of water. Because of that, that braid to a four liter is really the right setup, guys. But light braid, you know, eight to, 10, uh, eight to 12 pound braid. My favorite's this Berkley X5 and uh, 10 pound uh, braid is the deal. Light braid, I like the white because the white lets me see the bite sometimes. So white braid, and then I go to, you know, let's call it a six or eight foot liter of Berkley 100% fluorocarbon. And six to 10 or 12 pound tests, eight pound for sure is my, my happy place. The least amount of cover, the clearer the water, the lighter the liter, the heavier the cover, the dirtier water, the, the uh, more stout that liter. But eight pound liter is the deal. Um, this is a bait that is changing the way that I fish for fish that I can see with forward-facing sonar. If you're fishing using this technology, bass, walleye, crappie, panfish, perch, whatever you're fishing for, try this bait. The ability to change the action on the cast is the key to the Berkley Powerbait switch.